guys, welcome to a league race. I don't normally post these, but I thought I'd go ahead and post this one. I've had a few questions about my league racing. Uh, this is from the PFM Group B division. I qualified P2, uh, which is not bad going, um, with a slower bunch, shall we say. Um, pretty much me, Deg, and Cass are the quickest. The quickest? Is that even a word? Um, but yeah, it's pretty fun being in this league because I get to be at the front. Oh, there we go. There's my first mistake. Lap one. Gun wide. Yes, very good. And just like that, okay, safety car out. deployed. That has to be the quickest safety car ever. So anyway, the safety car was out for a numerous amount of laps. Um, Cass really slowed down the, the pack here, which was a little bit frustrating because um, we needed to catch the safety car. But we had a couple of uh, retirements. This is lap five. We had just have the safety car come in and the virtual safety car was deployed not long after. Ah yeah, no oh, fun and games. So anyway, I decided to pit. Last minute decision has I seen Cass go in. Everyone else pretty much joined suit um, after okay, us. If anyone's see never seen a pit stop, this is your best opportunity. Here it is. Got slowed down by two cars coming in. I actually thought he'd um, outthinked me, but no. Whatever outthinked me actually means. But this is pretty good actually, because as I came out of the pit lane, the safety car, virtual safety car ended. So, very good. So we were P3 after the pit stop. Behind Cass, Degdam hadn't pitted. So he was in P1, quite ahead of us, to be fair. He's uh, quite a quick driver, so we had a bit of catching up to do with uh, Deg. Lovely driving that. I hate that bit of the track. I always lose the back end. Doesn't matter how I take it. I always lose it. I hate this bit. This bit annoys me. That's for proof, by the way, Leek, that I didn't corner cut that corner all the time, as it was suggested. Lap three. Lap 11. Lap six. Whatever lap it is, it's lap 11. Um, Eden actually did manage to catch up with me. Um, he was pretty much quite close to me by this point. Um, I was on the mediums. I don't really like the mediums around here for some reason. Don't quite know why. Just don't really suit me. Don't know why, but we were slow. We were a bit slow. Cass had managed to bugger off and Eden had managed to catch up lap 13. I'm not going to bore you with all the little bits of me just driving around, obviously, you know. I had another retirement. Had a bit of a gap between Virtual Eden. And then we got a VC. Lost time here. Definitely lost time. So I think Cass did a little bit too. Yeah, quickest VC. Which is always good fun. Needed that curb, needed a bit of curb, you know. You know how it is. Sliding the back end around that corner, it's always good fun. There is an art to it, I just haven't quite picked it up yet. 
approaching the pit window. You'll be on the heart. Approaching pit window. And the safety car came out. That would have only been better if I was a bit further up the road. It would have been perfect. But unfortunately, I did have another lap to do. Wasn't too bad. Perfect timing. I was going to go for mediums. But I didn't think that they would make it all the way to the end. Um, so hards were definitely the best option. My brain kicked in at some point and told me that's not the best of ideas, Naomi. We caught up with Cass. We had a back marker there. And nearly got in trouble for this. I overtook him a little bit. Give that position back. We are under safety car conditions and cannot overtake. Return the position. As you can hear. Get it, get it, quick, Copy. quick. Pit stop number two, and we pitted for hards, which is exactly what Cass did. Cass was pretty much on the same strategy as me. That was all fun at the end, really was. There he goes. Still under the safety car though. No we had a weird thing happen under the safety car. Uh, I hadn't included it, I actually forgot about it until now. Um, during the safety car, uh, as you can see, I'm now ahead of Cass. Um, Cass went off a little bit um, and Codemasters decided that he had to give up P3 to me, otherwise he would get a penalty. Um, I did hand the footage in to the league, the green flags. but unfortunately that's how the game ran, so I took P3 from Cass. Safety car came in and uh, Deg did a uh, wonderful, um, frustrating restart. We're about two corners away, or three corners even, um, from the start straight, but He's in the lead, it's up to him what he does. As you can hear, I'm not too happy about it, but it's up to him. And he's gone. A lot earlier than I would have thought. Kind of messed me up a little bit. Taylor made a little bit of a mistake there, but he got away, so good on him, really. Lovely swinging action from that bat marker. Uh, I don't think he realised that he actually wasn't driving for position there. But obviously, as a bat marker does, he just gets straight out of the way. Been behind Eden for a bit. Was catching him pretty much, but he was causing me a couple of issues because he brakes a little bit earlier than I do. That's not his fault, it's just how he drives. Uh, but I had Cass up my booty and make a mistake here, which I was. Oh. Um, I was actually under investigation for, which is why the video's late, because I wasn't quite sure if I was going to get a penalty or not for that. Thankfully, I didn't. Um, as you can see, corner cutting at that bit. Codemasters doesn't actually note that it's a corner cut but it does cost you time it doesn't actually gain you any time also causes your back end to fly out and here's Degdam well oh did I have fun with him his driving style is questionable sometimes this really frustrated me a little bit he's slap bang in the middle and he's moving around quite a lot it was quite difficult to drive behind someone like that but Especially the whole weaving, which I, I'll put down to him correcting himself on that one. But it was quite frustrating being behind him. Another back marker just moving straight out of the way. That's, that's a wonderful spectacle when a back marker knows how to move out of the way correctly. A little bit of a... Do we call it a corner cut, Amy? 
possibly. I go a bit wide here. I've got Cass right up my booty at this point. Literally honing in on his prey. Oh, and again, made a mistake, back end comes out, but we've got DRS. And here he goes again. So, I'm going to catch up to him. And he's weaving. But it doesn't matter, kid, because I got the position. Oh, yeah. How we do it. Deck down was actually given a penalty uh, because of that. Um, for weaving, it was dangerous driving, um, which I've been behind him before and had that issue. But thankfully, they did see that it obviously wasn't very fair what he did. But those two drivers, Degdam and Cass, are extremely quick, and as you can see, they are literally behind me, like right behind me, and they carry on pretty much until the end of the race, right behind me. Look how close they get. I mean, literally, this bit. Any mistake, they'd have had me. The pair of them. Oh, another mistake. See, back end slides again. I hate that bit. I absolutely hate it. Managed to make a little bit of a gap here. doesn't last long. Look at how quick the catch and made a pair of them. Look at that. Bit wide there. Managed to hold it. Look at how close. Really putting me under pressure. Hardly anything in it. At this point, last lap, Cass had managed to get past Deg, and as you can see, Cass is quick. I probably think that Cass is quicker than me, and probably if that mistake with the safety car hadn't have happened, he probably would have won. And I'm big enough to admit that he's quick, like really quick, compared to me anyway, he's quick. Only eight cars survived this, by the way. This is kind of the league where if you get a bit quicker, if you hone in your skills, you can go to League A. But if I get into League A, I am definitely going to be one of the back markers because these guys are seriously quick. This is literally the bit where I could just mess it all up. But thankfully, I didn't. And I got a little bit of a gap. Enough for me to get over the line and win. My first ever victory in a league. Felt good. Felt good. So guys, if you've enjoyed watching this video, please click like and please do subscribe. It means a lot. I'm also live on Twitch on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday from half past eight. So please join me then. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and take care.